I was not always an atheist, but I was always a free thinker. Even when I was a uh, Christian, I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know the requirement of faith. I didn't know the true nature of faith. I didn't know that you were forbidden to change your mind by your religion. There was a point in my life when I used to believe all these fantastic things, urban legends and, and, and spirit photography and astral projection and all sorts of incredible claims. I mean, once upon a time when I was a kid, there was no way to check into these things. You had to offer the benefit of the doubt and accept as true whatever you're being told because there's no way to prove that it is not true. Well, of course, that's backward from what it should really be. I just came across a great many false statements, you know, and, and philosophies that I couldn't side with. And then when I found the, the actual requirement and true nature of faith, I had to walk away from it. I don't like being lied to, and I especially didn't like being lied to as a child. If there's any truth to the idea of a soul, if there's any truth to psionic abilities, to, to, to empathy, to telepathy, to any sort of astral or ethereal communication, uh, posthumous existence, whatever it is. If there's any truth to that, I want to know it. And I wouldn't tell people that you can't believe it. I would never tell anybody you can't believe something. But if you're going to tell me to believe it, you're going to have to substantiate it.